In this video, I'm going to show you how you can be able to use the latest version of Shasti and MCP servers along with Cloud Code to build this beautiful web applications where we can be able to view all the meals, add items to the cards, and here you can see here is the shopping carts, and we can also be able to change languages and also be able to change to different categories to view different meals. But most importantly, we're going to take a look at how we can be able to do this completely from scratch using the Shasti and MCP server with Cloud Code. So in this video for the agenda, we're going to first thing first take a look at how we can be able to set this up and install this MCP servers onto our local machine. Then we're going to take a look at how we can be able to follow the three-step process to create our sub-agents to build our web applications with Shastian. And to start, we're going to have our analyze sub-agent here to analyze the project requirements, the acceptance criteria, and the features that we're going to build for this project. Then we're also going to move on to another sub-agent here to do the research, to basically utilizing the Shastian MCP server here to do research on all the components that we're going to use to build this feature. Then we also have another sub-agent here to build this entire thing to execute the project we're trying to build basically to look at the requirements and the research that it did from the previous sub-agents to build this entire thing from scratch. And lastly, we're gonna take a look at how we can be able to use the Playwright MCP here to verify the changes and fix any user experience that are not aligned with our initial requirement plan. So pretty much that's what we're gonna cover in this video. If you're interested, let's get into it. All right, so before we jump in, a quick intro for those who are new here. My name is Eric and I have spent years as a senior software engineer at companies like Amazon, AWS, and Microsoft and I have started this YouTube channel to share everything I have learned along the way, from AI encoding to automations, Web3, career developments, and more, all broken down into practical tutorials that you can actually follow. So if you're ready to level up, make sure to check out my YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so to get started, first thing first, we navigate to the Shasti and MCU server documentation. And here you can see that it tells you exactly how we can install this. So inside of a quick start, you can see that we're gonna choose a coding assistant. So I'm just gonna choose Claw Code for this demonstration, but feel free to use any other coding IDs or any other coding agents you like. And here you can see that I'm just gonna follow this command here to install this onto our projects. So here I'm just gonna install this with NPM. And here I'm just gonna copy this command navigate to a project here. You can see that I have opened a terminal for this project. So now if I were to run this, you can see that it's going to configure the MCP server. It's gonna install the dependencies. And here you can see the configuration is saved inside of the .mcp.json file. And now if I were to open the .mcp.json file, here you can see that we have our Shasti and MCP server added inside of our MCP server lists. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open a clock code session. And here, once we start a clock code session, I'm just gonna use the slash MCP to manage the MCP servers. And here you can see that we can be able to verify the Shastian MCP server is connected inside of a clock code session. And here we can actually be able to click on enter to view more details and also click on enter here to view tools. And here you can see that these are the list of tools that we have for the registries. So you can see that we have our Git project registries, list of items in the registries. Now you might notice that all those tools are end with registries. And the reason is because we have the option for this MC tools to get all the registries under Shastian. Now, what does it mean? Well, here you can see that these are the registry directory. So basically we not only have the ability to get all the components from the original Shastian UI library, but we also have the ability to get all the registries where all the UI libraries that are built on top of Shastian. So for example, we have our Twixian, we have the original UI or different UI libraries that are focused on like layouts or animations, different types of UI libraries that are built on top of uh, Shastian. For example, taking this registry, for example, where we can be able to look at this UI library's components. And here you can see that these are all the components that we have for this UI library. For example, we have the background gradients, which we can be able to have the MC tools here to fetch those components and add it in inside of our web application. And simply all we have to do here is pick the registry we want and basically create a file called components.json file. And inside of this, we create an object called registries and we add our desired registries onto this component file. And that's exactly what it did. Here you can see that we have our components.json file inside of this project. And here you can see I have created an object called registries and I have added the desired registries that I want the MCP server here to use to basically fetch the desired components from those registries or from those UI libraries and basically trying to build a beautiful website or beautiful web applications using those UI themes or UI libraries that we have here. All right, so now once we have our registry added onto our project as well as the MCP servers fully set up, then what we're gonna take a look at is how we can be able to use this MCP servers to basically build beautiful UI components onto this web applications. So to do so, I have created four sub agents inside of the clock code. And here you can see that these are the four sub agents we have. So the order goes like this. We're gonna first have the Shasti and requirements analyzer, which is a sub agent we have built. And basically the goal here is that we're gonna use this agent to analyze the UI features we're gonna add for this project. 
and it's basically going to break down those features first and then we're going to have a research agent basically research the chassis and ui components as well as the registry that we have included basically take a look at what are the components that we're going to add onto this project for the features that we have requested and lastly we're going to have a implementation builder and basically look at the plan and the requirement file that we have planted from the researcher and analyzer and basically try to implement those features using the mcp server here to build those features out so in that case i'm just going to demonstrate that to you first and here i'm just going to open my terminal here you can see i have clock code session open and because in the previous video i mentioned how we can be able to use the spectrum development using the spec kit from github where we can be able to use the spectrum development here to create our project like this so in this video, I'm just going to continue using the same project here to build on top of it. So inside of our spec folders here, you can see that we have our task.json file, right? So what I did here is we have already completed phase one, which is the essential foundation for the setups and everything else. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have Clawco here to basically focus on building the UI features. So here you can see we have our phase one, which is focusing on using mock data here to build our UI first. And essentially here, we're just gonna have the clock code to call the MCP server here to go through those different steps that we created to basically do the research, plan the things, and then do the implementation. So here I'm gonna open my clock code session. I'm just gonna call the analyzer first. And basically here's the prompt to first understand the spec folder first, to look at the outer spoke or the uh, entire plan or the entire spec, uh, to try to understand everything first, and then look at the task.md file and also the phase one for the MVP UI first with mock data section, try to understand the UI task and try to analyze this. All right, so then you can see that the analyzer agent has complete the analysis. And then below here is the summary of the requirements. And here is the task list. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the requirements.md file and here is what it looks like. So here inside of this, we have our primary components that we're gonna have. And here you can see each step, we have a detailed requirements, a detailed documentation on how it's gonna implement. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the research agent here to do the research based on the requirements that we set. So here I'm just gonna say, please, do the research and let's see what it does here. Awesome, so now you can see that the Chassian component researcher has completed this job and here you can see this is the component research that it has done. So now by looking at the summary, here you can see that these are the installation commands as well as the components research for the detailed implementation patterns, right? So here is the implementation pattern documented as well as the key research which will be created inside of a MD file. So here you can see this is the MD file and this is basically the summary of the MD file as well as the installation commands the uh, component analysis by feature area. So we have uh, all the implementation on how we're gonna implement this task by task. So pretty much once we have this, what we can do is we're gonna basically use the implementation builder agents to basically implement or implement those features onto our application. So here in this case, I'm just gonna select the chassis implementation builder, which will basically use this to build a production ready UI. So I'm just gonna reference this and inside of this, I'm just gonna provide the uh, requirements doc from the folder, right? From the MVP phase one, as well as the component research that it has also created. So here I'm just gonna say component uh, research, which here is gonna be this one, right? Please refer to those documentations. And then I'm just gonna have it to follow the task.md file, which is inside of our spec, basically try to complete those tasks based on the task list that we have. And here I'm just gonna submit this request and basically like clock code sub agents here to build these things. So here you can see it's gonna use the chassis implement builder here to implement the features or the tasks from task 26 to 30 based on the requirements and the component research documentation that we specified. All right, so now you can see that the MVP for phase one is fully complete and we can actually be able to come to the application to view it. And here is what it looks like for the application. And here you can see that we have our nav bar, we have our top nav, as well as we can change it to different languages or even opening the shopping carts we can see here. Or we can also click on the profile icon to be able to sign in, create the account, and so much more. But now if you were to look at the application itself for the landing page here, you can see that this is what it looks like. So here you can see for the color, especially for the blue here, it kind of feels like a hyperlink as well as this text right here, which kind of feels like it's grayed out, especially if you do this with a button, right? So it's kind of like the button's kind of grayed out, which we don't actually want. 
But at this moment right now, I don't want to focus too much on the color and style because we're going to fix that later. And in this right now, we're just going to take a look at what are some components that the chassis and UI has built. In this case, you can see that the uh, we have our simple form, right? We can be able to enter the postcode to be able to see if it's actually within the delivery zone. And then furthermore, you can see that we have our uh, delivery coverage, right? Which we show in here, as well as the feature meals. So these are all the meals that user can be able to choose from, be able to add them to the cart. And here you can see if I were to add it to the cart, if we can be able to see the item being changed inside of our shopping cart. So I can be able to add more items. And then here we can also be able to click on the menu to be able to view the different food or different categories for by different food. So once we have this, right, once we verify that the chassis and MSP server is fully working, we can then take a look at how we can be able to fix the color issues that we have. So if you have never seen the sub agent video that I did, you can check out this video, but I'm gonna use one of the sub agents that I create called the Premium UX Designers. And basically I'm gonna have that and also using the Playwright MCP server, which if you haven't checked out this video called the Playwright MCP server, we're basically simply gonna have claw code to give vision to view the applications to fix what exactly we're trying to fix, right? Because currently the color is off. If we would just tell that the color is off, the claw code is not able to understand that. We're simply going to give the claw code, the Playwright MCP server access so that it can be able to view the applications and see the styling itself. So basically combine that with the sub agent that I created for these UX designers, we're just gonna have claw code here to fix this. And to do so, I simply just gonna reference that agent and basically have it to use the Playwright MCP server here to view the application and see the style. And basically I described the problem, which is the app color for the text and elements are a bit hard to see. And please change it to a different sets of colors to fit the product style and make the user experience here much more better. And here you can see that it's first thing first, it's gonna install the Playwright MCP server into the project. That is also able to taking screenshots of the applications to see what's going on, as well as they also invoke the sub agents for the UX designers to basically make the color much more better. So eventually here, you can see the change the color for the primary and the secondary, as well as the clean background. So let's take a look at the application one more time. So here is what the application looks like, which gives you a much cleaner design. And if we were to scroll down, we can have the form to check the availabilities and also the feature meals, we can actually be able to view the full manuals here, where here you can see there are different categories. So basically you can see that the colors and the themes are much better than the previous one. And we can also see the cards for how many items we have, the total, the delivery fees, and so much more.